END here. As you can see, today, July 8th, we had the band and the restriction announcement. And it's ironic that Wizards of the Coast have issued this beauty of a card, Colossus Hammer, because it's a perfect symbol of what happened today. The hammer swanged again and bridge from below is bent. Yes, you heard it well, bridge from below is bent. This means that the modern deck Bridgevine has been hit hard with this card. Obviously, Bridge from the Below was a very important key card in that deck. And as I said, it has been hit hard with this banning of Bridge from Below. Bridge from the Below is banned. Effective date is July 12th. Therefore, from July 12th onwards, Bridge from Below is banned in Modern. This is only in med modern only. You can still play it in other formats as much as in commander. Bridge from the Low, as I said, is banned. This is the first print of the card. This was in future side. You can see this card with its modernized frame that till now we never saw this particular frame. Last printed bridge from the below was in Ultimate Masters. Ultimate Masters was a very successful set for Wizards of the Coast, and bridge from, the, from below was a rare card in that set. Why the ban on bridge from below? The, be the ban from bridge from below it's arriving from the win, the high win rate of bridge of bridge vine, the modern deck. Recently, we have seen this deck winning and winning more games, being more and more successful in Modern, and we can see the last Mythic Championship GPs. We have seen always this deck topping the 8 in a frequent rate. Even Wizard of the Coast said that they have banned Bridge from below because they wanted to take a key card from that deck, that means that the deck still can be played, but bridge from the below has to be excluded. They wanted to take a key card from that deck so that they will lower the win rate of the deck. In contrast of what happened in the last time we saw a ban, that was I Crackran Ironworks. Crackran Ironworks, in my opinion, it was banned not because of the high win rate, but it's because of the complexity of the play. Now, as I said, bridge, bridge from the below is banned. It hit hard Bridge Vine, Bridge Vine, the deck in Modern, and why Bridge Vine became so popular, so famous, so win rate. Because of this card. Hagog Erased in Necropolis. When this card was released in Modern Horizons, the deck became much, much more stronger, and therefore something had to be done. Bridge from the Below was banned. Another important key card in that deck is Vengevine. Vengevine, a card from Rise of the Eldrazi, for so many times, for so many years, this card remained quite quiet. Then, with the awakening of Bridgevine, this particular deck, the card got extremely expensive. What will happen to the price of bridge from below and the key cards of Bridgevine? Obviously, with the ban, we will see a drop in the price. Bridge from the below had a maximum of $15, now is back to $10. And this is obviously what I'm sure will happen to the card. The card will continue to drop in price because with the ban in Modern, there is no use for this particular card. Another key card in Bridgevine is Vengevine. Vengevine that has seen so much swings in its price, currently stabilizing at $31, but I'm sure unless the deck Bridgevine will find 
a key replacement card for Bridge From Below, this card will continue going down in price as the deck will lose much of much of its strength. Something that players were awaiting and didn't happen was the banning of Faithless Looting. Faithless Looting is still one card of Bridgevine, but is a key component of other decks. And this is why I think this card was not banned. And Bridge from Below was selected from that particular deck. I believe that to lower the power of Bridgevine, a key card was chosen that will not affect other decks. If Faithless Looting was banned, therefore other decks will be affected. Last, Stoneforge, Myst Stoneforge Mystic. For many years, there is a loud cry from players to unban this card, but till today, Wizard of the Coast, R&D are still seeing this card too powerful to be unbanned in modern. As a summary, as I said, Bridge from Below is banned. It cannot be used in modern. Bridgevine has been hit hard, but I'm sure that modern players will find a way to brew more powerful decks, especially in the future. I'm sure other sets related to modern will be released, and I'm sure in the future there will be a modern horizons too. You can leave me a comment below what do you think about the banning of Bridge from Below. And here, the subscription button, subscribe for my channel for more news about Magic the Gathering and the collectible world.